Hi everyone, welcome back to S2CS. So after a long gap, I'm again back with a new video on cloud computing. So I will be just discussing the basics here. If you want more in detail, you can comment in my comment box. So let's start with this topic. So before understanding this technology, you must understand what this term cloud is. So cloud refers to network or internet. Now coming to this technology, cloud computing is a technology that uses remote servers on the internet to store, manage and access data online rather than local drives. As you know where you store your data, okay, on the local drives or sometimes you take your data as a backup in the secondary storage but here the data is stored online so whenever possible you can access your data the what kind of data you can store files images documents audio video okay next coming to the types of cloud computing service there are three types of cloud computing service SaaS, software as a service which is available for end users pass platform as a service which is available for application developers IAS infrastructure as a service which is available for infrastructure architects. So these are the three kinds of cloud computing service. So we will understand the service detail one by one. First is the SaaS that is software as a service. It is known as on demand software. So in this model services are hosted by cloud service provider. As you know how the internet is it is provided by internet service provider. Similarly this is provided by cloud service provider. So this is for end users now only we have discussed. So they don't have to install any software on their devices to access this service. The popular SaaS providers are Microsoft Office 365. Okay the online office suit then the Google apps like Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Docs, then Constant Contact, they provide you the services like email, marketing, online survey and the last one Oracle CRM. So I hope you are clear with the SaaS. Next is PaaS that is platform as a service. It provides a runtime environment. Now this is mainly for the application developers as we have seen in the diagram now only. So what it, what it does? The programmers get an environment where they can test, run, deploy the web applications. Now, who are the PaaS providers? Google App Engine, okay. Windows Azure. Now, Windows Azure provide you the services like IoT, then data storage, security, okay. App Fog, they provide you the services like Google Docs, SkyDrive, okay. And the last one, OpenShift, which provides you the services like Red Hat, okay. Clear with the PaaS? Next is the IaaS infrastructure as a service. It is also known as hardware as a service. Now this is mainly for the infrastructure architects. Now what here it's been done the customers outsource their IT infrastructure. Now what kind of IT infrastructures like servers, networking, processing, storage okay and other resources. So it's uh, for every organization it's not necessary that they have to maintain their own IT infrastructure. Now who are the popular IaaS providers? Amazon Web Services, NetMagic Solutions, Tata communications and there are many more but I have taken this three. This short video I hope you have got a glance regarding cloud computing. So if you have really liked it please don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. So thank you for watching. I will meet you in my next video. Till then bye.